Hello Average Engineers, today I'm going to talk about Uniform on Databricks Iceberg versus Delta. This is really a talk and a video about lake houses, lake house formats. Of course, you know, there's always been a little bit of fighting going on between Iceberg, Delta Lake, and Hootie, among some other ones. Lake houses are very popular. It's a core component of most data platforms today, so of course there's a lot of infighting that goes on around about which storage format you should use and that's what we're going to talk about today we're going to talk about something that databricks released called delta lake uniform or delta uniform and kind of how it solves this problem of delta lake versus iceberg essentially because those are mostly the two main competitors who these kind of like you know hanging around in the background nobody really cares about that or they shouldn't anyways so what is delta uniform delta uniform takes advantage of the fact that delta lake iceberg and hoodie are all built on the top of a Apache Parquet data files. These are, of course, different storage systems, but under the hood, they're very similar. And this is what Delta Uniform does. It works by automatically generating metadata for Iceberg and Hootie alongside Delta Lake, all against a single copy of the Parquet data. So basically what that means is you can have a Delta Lake Uniform table, and what happens is you can basically seamlessly have quote-unquote versions of that table in Iceberg or Hootie, if that makes sense, or both. So basically you have a three-in-one solution. Again, here is a little bit of a visual that Delta Lake put on their blog. And yeah, kind of the whole idea is you have a Delta Lake with uniform, and then you, so you basically have one single copy of that data. So you don't have three different copies, right? Because table, these tables can get quite large. One co copy of data per file, and then you have basically metadata for these other systems like Iceberg or Hootie that allow your Delta Lake table to act like an iceberg or hoodie table if it wants to. What does that mean? It means you could, you know, read and write to that Delta Lake table as if it's an iceberg table if you want to. And you would say, why do I want this? Well, it just make it easier for you, say, if you're looking to migrate, say, a system to Delta Lake, or you're trying to, you know, you have a bunch of different table formats and you want to go to one, well, you could use Delta Uniform and then, you know, you necessarily wouldn't have to change all your readers and writers, say, in your Spark code, you could leave them as they are and, you know, migrate them later. So I actually want to show an example that I did recently. I went ahead and I played around with Uniform myself because I hadn't done that yet. I just heard about it. And I did it on Databricks, and I used the Black Blaze hard drive failure data set. You can see here, I used it reading in Spark and showing this is the data set we're going to use to play around with. Basically, what I did is I created a Delta table here. You can see the command. I created a hard drive failures data set, but notice in the table properties that basically there is an indication for Delta Universal Format Enabled Formats Iceberg. That's key here that makes this normal Delta table into a uniform Delta table that will support Iceberg. That's not bad, right? It's pretty easy, straightforward to do. I mean, you think about doing this sort of thing, it sounds super complicated, but you know, setting up this table and just adding that, really that one line is all it took to change to a uniform table, more or less. So that's pretty slick, pretty easy. So I guess the next question is, if we put data in there, can we read this table as both an iceberg table and a delta table from Spark? Because that's the idea behind uniform. So here I'm going ahead and I'm inserting data into this table that we just created. That data frame, of course, is the sample data that we looked at. And of course, we're just inserting the table, the uniform table we just created. And now look here, we're reading it with Spark and Databricks. We're saying Spark read format Delta table. And we're calling that same table. And then also we're doing Spark read format Iceberg on that same exact table. Pretty interesting, huh? And it appears to work. You get the same answer for both. I know that sounds boring, but at the same time, that means Delta Uniform works, and that's pretty cool. I can take a complicated topic like, you know, I want a single lake house table, and I want to be able to treat it like Iceberg or Delta Lake. That's kind of complicated, and you just saw how seamless that was. Pretty amazing, actually. And I wanted to take it a little bit farther. I think, you know, like a real test, you know, we're inside Databricks. This is a Databricks product. You know, Uniform seems to be okay. Yes, we can read Spark, Iceberg table, and Delta Lake table all in one. But I thought, you know, what if we could actually read it with something besides Spark? That'll really tell us that this thing is working. So I decided to use Polars. Went ahead and ran a describe table extend on the Uniform Delta table, and I got the location of the meta.json file you can see there of the Iceberg 
basically table, if that makes sense, or the iceberg meta JSON of this uniform delta table. And I want to take that JSON file and see if I can actually read it with something like polar. So like, is this really working that well? And of course it did work. All I had to do was install polars and pi iceberg in my Databricks environment. I set the location of our Delta uniform iceberg meta JSON file and we're off to the races. I went ahead, you can see I had to add some credentials there using polars. I could scan the iceberg table and print it and it worked fine. That's pretty cool. I think the idea is we're getting the best of both worlds. And I think this is a big step forward for the lake house world kind of starting to come together on a common format and it just makes it easier it makes that transition easier especially if you're wanting to end up on one format like delta and you have a bunch of iceberg tables you may have a bunch of code and that could be a problem you're like well i don't want to change all that code etc well now you have delta uniform you can just go ahead and you know recreate those tables or change them to uniform tables and all of a sudden you don't have to rewrite all that code you can still insert and read data whether it's delta or iceberg it just makes it seamless i mean that's pretty cool and that was one last thing i wanted to check i was just curious can we write to our uniform table like it's iceberg with spark even though it's a delta uniform can we write in it in iceberg format because again if we were doing a migration or something we wouldn't have to want to go touch all that code we just want to be able to swap the table out make it uniform and just let the code run if we want so that's basically what I did. I went ahead and read that table, got the count of it. I just took our data frame that we already had, just took about 10 records, basically did a select expression on them. And then I went ahead and put write format mode iceberg append, save as table onto our current table. And I went ahead and read it back with iceberg and did a count seeing yes, this worked. You could absolutely basically not change any, even your write code. You know, it's one thing to be able to read both iceberg and delta lake in a single format but the fact that you can also write iceberg mode meaning if you're doing some sort of migration or whatever you wouldn't have to actually touch that code if you change that table updated it to a delta uniform table you could leave all the iceberg read and writes as is with spark and they would work fine that's that's pretty impressive i mean this makes delta uniform very enticing i'm surprised more people aren't talking about it i'm not sure why I don't know, I'm sure the iceberg people don't want to talk about it. it, probably makes them angry that this thing, this sort of thing is possible because, you know, there would just be one more nail in the coffin of iceberg, even though that's going to happen, it's a very popular format, but so is Delta Lake. Again, I just enjoy seeing Databricks do this sort of work. I mean, this is a seriously cool tool, Delta Uniform. I'm surprised more people aren't talking about it. It really lowers the barrier of entry for those people that maybe have been on Iceberg and they're kind of thinking, oh, I would like to use Delta Lake, but you know, you've got this migration, this overhead, all this stuff. Well, they've just made it basically seamless for you to do that. Seriously impressive tool.